the Chaos Emeralds are back and serve a purpose. Roger's voice performance as Sonic is the best it's ever been. Ian Flynn is writing the story. Open world. If you told all of this stuff to any Sonic fan five years ago, they'd most definitely lose their minds. Most can agree the past decade of Sonic games has been meh at best because of things like the out of character writing and the overuse of nostalgia, but I've been looking at all of the gameplay shown as well as the cutscenes and oh my goodness, the characters feel like themselves again! Sonic is expressive and animated but still grounded enough for people to take him seriously. Did you see how Sonic ran so fast he scouted the entire island in less than 5 seconds and then delivered a one layer that felt in character and not forced? Amy isn't just constantly flirting with Sonic this time like she's just some sort of knockoff Minnie Mouse, she's actually concerned about Tails' well being. The Combat looks awesome! Sonic is shooting projectiles out of his hand like he's a Dragon Ball Z character! Sonic fights a giant titan where he has to homie attack parts of the ground just to hit him! And when he fails, he throws Sonic across the island into a wall! And what about Sage? What's up with her? Aside from her looking like Infinite's cousin, what's her backstory? What does she have against Sonic? Is she the ruler of the Starfire Islands? The trailers just raise so many questions, but the most prominent one for me is this. Are we entering a Sonic Renaissance? I ask this because this has been the best looking official Sonic game we've ever gotten in over a decade and it's looked the most promising as well. Not even Forces looked as promising as this, because Forces introduced classic Sonic again, so that was kind of like, eh, well maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be, but this is looking really promising. The gameplay looks so much more fleshed out compared to previous games, I can't see us ever getting a boost game like Generations or Forces ever again. Even games like Unleashed, which weren't as linear as, say, Forces for example, it's still more linear compared to what Frontier is going to be. I haven't played Song Origins yet, but from what I've heard it isn't that good, so maybe we still aren't perfect, but this game combined with the two movies that have been released over these past couple years makes me think that maybe, just maybe, we will finally start getting good Sonic games again for the 2020s. Maybe this decade will be what the 2010s should have been. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments below. Peace and blessings.